all this is in, in the eventual goal to uh, put on what we call the Space Robotics Challenge. Uh, we are standing here in the expo area of the, the DARPA Robotics Challenge in the Fairplex in Pomona, California. Behind you, you see the Valkyrie robot. Uh, I think many of your readers are familiar with it. We, uh, we built the Valkyrie to uh, compete in the DRC trials back in 2013. Uh, did not do so well. And we've worked uh, since then on, with a skeleton crew to try and, uh, and keep making progress. DARPA has, has put on a, a great show with, uh, and, and sponsored a lot of great research with the, uh, with the trials and the finals of DRC overall. And a lot of these teams have spun up in a way that, that uh, it's not clear how that research is going to keep going after, after they, the uh, Atlas robots go away. So NASA and NSF are funding us to build uh, two new Valkyrie units. Those units are going to be awarded to teams that, DRC teams that do well here and uh, would like and, and give us proposals to, uh, to host the teams. All this is in, in the eventual goal to uh, put on what we call the Space Robotics Challenge, which is an effort uh, to basically pick up the torch that, uh, that, that DARPA is, uh, is handing off. A lot of our goals, like DARPA's goals and NASA's goals, line up. So we basically, they're interested in, in uh, disaster and, uh, and defense applications. We're interested in, in, in space applications. But a humanoid robot is essentially a humanoid robot. The point is that it can do what people do. Get people out of dangerous situations and get the robots in it is, is basically what we're about. So what we're thinking is if we've, we've got a couple of Valkyries, we've got some funding from NASA and from the NSF to get those teams that, uh, that do well here and, and would like to host the Valkyrie, uh, keep the, the research going and keep the, uh, the humanoid robotics research in general advancing forward. Yeah, the future is bright for Valkyrie.